Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix audio services not responding. Audio services not responding is a common error message indicating that your sound device is unresponsive. It often happens after a Windows update. To fix it, ensure that audio services are running and drivers are updated. If not, try a system restore. Solutions will be tackled in this video. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, restart audio services. Before attempting to work on more complicated solutions, restarting the audio service is a good first step to fix this issue. Along with your sound hardware and drivers, there is an audio service that manages your computer's audio. Restarting it can refresh its configurations and fixes the problem. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type services.msc and press Enter. At Services window, locate Windows Audio Service. Since the services are arranged alphabetically, this service is usually at the bottom portion. Right-click on the service and then click Restart from the drop-down menu. Wait for Windows Audio Service to completely restart. Then right-click on Windows Audio Service and then click Properties. At Properties window, make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic. Click Apply to apply changes made. Click OK to exit. At Services window, locate Windows Audio, Endpoint Builder Service. Right-click on the service and then click Restart from the drop-down menu. Wait for the service to completely restart. Then right-click on the service and then click Properties. At Properties window, make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic. Click Apply to Apply Changes Made. Click OK to exit. Restart Computer once computer completely reboots. Check Audio Services Not Responding Still Occurs. Second solution, check Audio Components. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type services.msc and press Enter. At Services window, locate the following services and make sure is it running and are set to automatic. If not, write. Click on the service and click Start option. Check the service remote procedure call. In here, the service is already running and set to automatic. If not, right-click on the service and select Start. Then to change startup type, Simply go to it properties and change startup type to automatic. Next service is DCOM Server Process Launcher. In here, the service is already running and set to automatic. Check if issue still occurs. Third solution, install Realtek Audio Device. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type devmgmt.msc and press enter. Then at Device Manager, click on Sound, Video and Game Controllers to expand it. Right-click on your sound device and then select Update Driver from the drop-down menu. Select the option. Browse my computer for driver software, then choose the option. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Uncheck the option show Compatible Hardware, select the model, and then click Next. After Windows successfully updated your drivers, click Close to exit. Check if issue still occurs. Fourth solution. Restoring from last restore point. If none of the solutions mentioned worked, the last solution that you can do is to restore Windows to its last restore point before the issue started. To do this, type restore point at the search bar and then click on the create a restore point result. If you haven't created a restore point yet, create a new one by simply clicking on create tab. You can choose your own description of the restore point for instance, I'll choose Restore March 27th, then click Create Next. Click on the option System Restore. Then click Next, then choose from the Restore point you just created, and then click Next. After which, click Finish tab, and then follow on-screen instructions. Check if issue still occurs. And that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.